Hello and welcome to this Clefi video where today we're going to discuss the 311 and 312 series safety relief valves. Let's firstly take a look at why we use safety relief valves. The 311 and 312 series safety relief valves are used in domestic hot water systems to protect the hot water cylinder and in heating systems to protect the boiler and other components from overpressurizing. There are differing reasons why pressure rises with sealed circuits. Temperature fluctuations are one of these reasons. As water heats or cools, the volume increases. Anything above or below four degrees, water will increase in density. These systems should be fitted with an expansion vessel to absorb these fluctuations in pressure. But if this vessel is incorrectly sized or was to fail, then the safety relief valve will operate if required. The valve is selected by choosing the required set discharge pressure. As the pressure rises, when the discharge pressure is reached, the valve opens and discharges to atmosphere, preventing the pressure within the system reaching levels which could be dangerous for the boiler, hot water storage cylinder, or any personnel in the adjacent vicinity. The operating principle of the pressure reducing valve is based on the comparison between two forces. The spring pushes the arbitrary downwards in the safety relief valve, creating a watertight seal. As the pressure increases towards the set pressure of the valve, the spring begins to compress, slowly opening the discharge. Once the aperture is open, the water will be discharged to atmosphere via drainage pipework and a tundish. It is important the tundish is fitted for two reasons. This is to create an air gap to prevent the back siphonage of water, but also as a visual indicator to show the valve has opened and it is passing water. There is a wide range of calibrated safety relief valves to choose from. This is dependent on what part of the circuit you are protecting. Components which are very pressure sensitive and can be easily damaged could use the lowest pressure rated valve of 2 or 2.5 bar. The higher end of this range is 8 bar for more robust protection. We are often asked why do safety relief valves pass water? There can be multiple reasons why the safety relief valve can pass and we'll now take a look at these and what they are. If the expansion vessel has failed on the system, then there is nowhere for the excess pressure to go. This will activate the safety relief valve and water will discharge. If this problem is not identified relatively quickly, then the seat can be held slightly open by the pressure. If this was to occur, then the brass can become worn and never reseal. Also, another reason for water to pass through the valve is due to the cap on the top of the valve being opened and closed. This should be activated on an annual basis only to check the operation. During this process, system debris can be held under the seat and will not allow a seal to form. Please ensure this seat is clean and free from debris. If the valve is found to be passing, this would indicate that the valve is doing the job it was designed for and the system should be checked. A passing valve does not always mean a faulty valve. It is important to remember that this is a safety device and should be treated in this way. If something doesn't look or feel right, then the system should be checked and the valve changed. If the valve is found to be activated, then the pressure must drop to a, su a sufficient amount below the set point of the valve to enable full reseating of the valve. There is a tolerance of plus or minus 10% and generally we look for 20% to allow the valve to reseat. The 311 and 312 series valves are not serviceable and should always be replaced should there be any potential problem with the valve. Thank you for watching our video today on the 311 and the 312 series safety relief valves. For further information on this product or any of our other products, please visit our website at www.kalefi.com or alternatively visit our YouTube page for further videos. Thank you for watching.